Hey guys, I'm Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily and today's video is going to be a real stomach turner because I'm gonna dive in deep and share with you the 10 harsh truths about being a content creator. Now, as someone who works with content creators in a variety of different ways, whether it be through my brand clients or through our agency, because we help content creators and we work with them and do all that good stuff, let me tell you, I've seen it all. So today's video is going to be sharing those truths that you wish you knew almost before you started. And if you're already a content creator that is you know, actively doing this, whether it be full time or really hustling hard, the lessons I'm going to be sharing with you are going to be, I think, revolutionary to your business because they're gonna help you prevent from making these mistakes and getting you in a really good headspace. Now, before we go ahead and jump in, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is in partnership with Lily. Lily is a checking account designed for influencers, freelancers, creators, side hustlers. As you can imagine, one of the big things that people don't talk about in this industry at all is money savings, taxes, all that sort of stuff. So it makes total sense that we're bringing Lily along for today because they are checking account for freelancers and for creators. So obviously the money side is something that is a hard, hard truth. But anyways, we'll get into that as we go down today's list. Now, I think one of the first hard truths that we're gonna share with you guys is that the content creation portion is just one piece of it. Being a content creator, whether it be full-time or really putting effort into it is a really big undertaking from researching the content that you're doing to producing it, editing it, you know, the keywords, if you're on YouTube, if it's on Instagram, it's what time to post all the administrative stuff that goes into not only the content side, the business side. If you are able to understand this from coming in that yes, content creation is creativity and it's a great place to be in, but it's more than just creating content, it's running a business. And if you're ready to understand and accept it from the beginning that yes, I wanna be a content creator, I love making content, but it's hard work and creating content is not all of what I do, then at least you know that going into it. The second thing is mindset. A big piece of advice that I would share with anyone kind of getting into this business is knowing that you're going to improve as you go along. You are not meant to start off as an amazing content creator and be perfect off the jump. You will grow the skills you will learn. Look at your first post and your last post, right? I'm sure you've already seen a, a tremendous amount of growth in your own content. I look at our first videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, right? As you grow as a content creator, you will continually see improvements. So don't let skill and things of that nature stop you from getting out there and posting. Perfectionism will hold you back. And guess what? Someone else is gonna go ahead and do it. So this leads to my third tip is that no one really cares. And this is actually a good thing for you to know as a content creator. When I say no one really cares, I mean there's so much content coming out, so many people are up here putting themselves out there that no one's watching you with a microscope. Even though I know it feels like they are, this should actually give you some comfort to say, you know what, I'm just gonna jump in and do this and press post, press publish, so that you can be a part of the conversation and realize when I say no one cares, it's not meant to hurt your feelings, it's meant to actually let you know that there's so many like Instagram stories a second, YouTube videos a second, that don't let your insecurities and that negative self-talk prevent you from posting because you're only hurting yourself in the end. Now, another big tip when it comes to content creators, and this one goes for my newbies or my experienced creators, is your finances. Influencers and creators, they forget things like taxes. Like you may be getting all these brand partnerships, but are you putting money away for taxes at the end of the year? Um, what about savings, like rainy day sort of savings and stuff, things of that nature, <laughs> clue in COVID-19 pandemic, right? We never know when things are gonna happen. I think a lot of times freelancers and creators and side hustlers, people that are in this space, they're not thinking ahead of time. and. One thing that is super, super crazy that I recently found out in our partnership with Lily is that over 70% of freelancers are overpaying on their taxes. And this is a big mistake creators are making. And what do I mean by that, right? So like, you know that drone that you just bought? Yeah, you can expense it. Or that new camera or that microphone. Those are expensive 
things that you can expense as a creator, right? What I love about Lily is that they have this tool. It's like literally like a swipe tool where you can swipe and show, okay, this is a work expense. This is a life expense like Starbucks, right? Or this is a work expense. And it's literally so easy to do because you're just swiping and it categorizes those expenses into work and life all in one account. What ends up happening is a lot of times creators will set up two accounts and then they're managing two and it gets super confusing. Whereas within Lily, you can do all of that at once. Another thing I absolutely love about Lily for creators is the tax bucket. You can literally choose on a sliding scale how much money you want out of all your direct deposits to go into like a tax savings. Now, of course you can jump in and like use it whenever you want. But the idea here is that it's taking 20% out or 25% out or whatever you want to set to go to taxes at the end of the year. So you're not just like, oh my God, I need to pay, you know, taxes on this and I've spent all the money. These are again, those harsh truths that creators don't realize until it is tax season. Um, another thing I love is, you know, uploading your receipt. That's something that you can do so that, you know, you have all those things tracked. And I absolutely love the expense report that Lily provides creators because once you have all your expenses sorted, you can hand it over to your accountant or if you're doing your taxes on your own, you're easily able to see what ha what was a work expense and what was a personal one and help you really categorize those expenses so that you're not getting taxed on things that you shouldn't be getting taxed on anyways. Lily is an all-in-one solution providing mobile banking, expense management, and tools that help you, the creator, save money and take control of your finances so you don't have to deal with it later on in the gig. And the best part is, is that a Lily checking account comes with a Visa debit card, which is obviously like accepted everywhere and you can do everything from your iOS or Android. So if you're interested in learning more and signing up, make sure you use our link below to get started with your checking account specifically made for you creator and freelancer. Now that we got finances out of the way, cause that is a big harsh truth that creators have to always learn. Um, and I don't want you guys to learn it the hard way. Another big truth is, you know what? Your friends and family, they may not understand what you do and that's okay. They're not supposed to, right? Surround yourself with other creatives, other creators, people that get you, other niche communities, influencer communities, communities like here at Sidewalker Daily so that you are kept, you know, inspired and not like kind of brought down. It's not to say friends and family mean to bring you down, but they don't always get it. And another big lesson I think I've learned and a lot of my creators have learned is that not only do your friends and family may not support you, they may stop you from actually posting. We talked about a little bit of that perfectionism paralysis where you don't want to post because you're worried of what people think, but it's because a lot of times your friends and family follow you. And I always say they're not your audience, right? They're not who we want necessarily to follow you. I mean, maybe you do, but but we want people that don't know us to follow us, right? That's how we're gonna grow. So options you have as a creator could be to either create a new account or even put them on a list that you know you don't necessarily wanna share that content with so that it doesn't stop you from hitting that post button. Another big truth, and I hope you're ready for it, is that it takes time. Influencers, creators, we live in like the Uber Eats world, Amazon Prime world, where everything is delivered overnight. But guess what's not delivered overnight? Success. And anyone that's telling you it is, is not telling you the truth, my friend. If you think about Google, if you think about even just a blog, it takes Google like 90 days to even rank your blog post, right? Um, I want you to think about your creator business as a business and people don't become profitable overnight. It takes work. And again, if you're willing to put in that time and you have a realistic, expectation of time, you're setting yourself up to win. This is another big one. Work is not always consistent. As a creator, you're going to have high months and low months, months that work is really killing it. And months that, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing well this month. Like what is happening? And you're going to have to kind of just prepare yourself for that. One of the things that I personally love about the Lily checking account is that it has a rainy day fund. And this is something that you can set up to, you know, even like a dollar a day to put it into some sort of savings so that when those months are low and not good, you can go ahead and just have a little something there to protect you. Another harsh truth, 
people are gonna unfollow you. Don't get obsessed with the unfollow game. Don't even look at it. I tell creators all the time, look at your insights, but don't get, don't get obsessed with how many people are, are unfollowing you. Change your mindset. They're actually helping you. Um, you don't want people tagging along that aren't going to engage with your content or even care about you. Remember, people unfollow for different reasons. It's not always personal, even though you may take it as such. Let Nina tell you it's not personal. Another truth is you're gonna constantly be comparing yourself to other influencers and creators. The number one thing I hear on coaching calls is, well, so-and-so is doing this and so-and-so is doing that. And I wanna be like, do you know so-and-so? Don't you know Instagram and social is meant to show the best part of your life? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So just know that comparison is normal, but don't let it get the best of you. Don't let it stop you from posting. Don't let it have an effect on your mental health and unfollow accounts that trigger you. Just unfollow them. All those perfect accounts that you're, you know, that are hurting you or making you stay up at night, if that's the type of energy that's coming into your life, you're better off muting them. And this goes with saying another big harsh truth is that imposter syndrome is real. There will be a time that you are finally getting it, making money, being a successful creator that you are meant to be, and you're gonna be like, wait a second. What if people like figure me out? What if, what if people get, you know, I'm exposed. I don't deserve this. All of those negative, that all that negative self-talk will happen. It is real. Just again, embrace yourself for it. Know that it's going to come and silence that thought, push it out of the way and tell yourself that, you know, you are, you have put in the work, especially if you have that realistic expectation of time, you know that it takes time and you deserve the goodness that is coming to you. The good thing is guys that being a content creator and doing this is a dream. It is a privilege. Like one of my clients recently told me, you know, I have never thought that I could live my dreams of creating content full time. And with the good comes the hard lessons. And that's what today's video was about. But hopefully it has prepared you to accept what's coming down the pipeline so that you are ready to make it and kill it in your content creator biz. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I have another video video on full-time content creator that I'm going to link here. So you can go ahead and check that out. If you guys, again, are interested in signing up for your Lily checking account, you can do so using our link below. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.